restaurant has been forced to make adjustments during the pandemic, including adding a new location. Our core Harlan is live from Momiji Sushi to talk about those changes in their holiday sushi platter. Core. Boy, this is, uh, this is something else. People's appetite for sushi in the Portland area has been growing year after year after year. We are at uh, Momiji this morning on the 4400 block of Northeast Fremont. I am with uh, John Zen, who is the, uh, one of the principals here at the Momiji. First of all, it's a little bit early for sushi for some people, but not for us, right? Any, any time is good for sushi. I have sushi for breakfast. Oh, boy. Good job, good job. Let's talk first of all, before we get into uh, 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 the, the, where we are and what we're doing here, I want to talk to me a little bit about people's appetite for sushi in the Portland area. Well, um, I am in the sushi business since um, about 20 years ago. Uh -huh. I remember uh, 20 years ago, the only four sushi restaurants in entire Portland. In just four of them? Just four of them. And, and now how now many? Now it's about 200, I think. Wow. Momiji has three locations here at 44th and Fremont. They also have one on the Northeast Prescott and at the old Humdinger location on Barber Boulevard out there across from the, uh, the Safeway. I have to tell you, John, and you know this too, to be true, uh, the, the, there, there's some things going on here. You have made some big changes in your restaurants to keep people safe. Tell me about those a little bit, please. Well, if you look at when you first come in, we try to focus on contactless ordering payment uh -huh. and picking up the food uh, from ordering to pay to pick up the food you probably don't need to do uh, have any interactions with our employees so that's that's a key is, is contact contactless delivery also we have about 45 seconds left or so tell me a little bit about this holiday platter that I'm hearing about um, <clears throat> so if you look on line we have a, a, a variety of sushi rolls that you can pick from and order uh -huh. with the e-gift card, which is a great thing for the holiday in 2020 during uh -huh. the uh, pandemic. Um, the, uh, you can select a, print, uh, a variety of sushi rolls and make your own product. For the holidays, nothing better. Or for breakfast, right? Yes. Come on, for breakfast, it's good stuff. Can I steal one of these, you guys? We've got about 30 seconds left, and the man's got to taste the food that he's talking about here. Which one should I eat? Do you think? Any? Absolutely. Salmon, what is this? Salmon premium. Salmon premium. Oh. Mmm. My cup of taste buds, doesn't it? Oh, baby. It's a little ginger in here. Mmm. Oh, a little wasabi. Absolutely. All right, now, Jenny, Tim, nobody else is going to touch this. Nobody else is going to eat it. No phone calls, no emails from Momiji <laughs> Sushi <laughs> Restaurant here at 44th and Fremont. I'll tell you, this is salmon. Absolutely. Salmon premium. salmon premium is delicious. I highly recommend this for breakfast. Salmon premium. That's what Core's having for breakfast today. Here from Momiji, uh, Momiji Sushi Restaurant, 44th and Fremont. Yeah, I mean, it's healthy, right? Yeah. It's not a lot of sugar or anything else. It's all good for you. Yeah, so that's a good Core mm. breakfast, right? I'll have another one, Core. Oh, there you baby. go. Oh, he will, believe me. There's yeah, I think There's when six we come more of them in here, so yeah, right. I think when we come back, that probably that one plate will be gone. Right, yep, sorry, they'll have moved on to the next one mm. next time we talk. Oh to man, Cor. okay, <laughs> right. thank you, Cor. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, let's talk uh, weather and traffic right now. Uh, of course, we got Carly taking a look at what's happening out on the roads. Kelly, what do you see for today? Well, we are starting out dry. It's not a bad morning.